Hello everyone, welcome to the AMC D&D live stream. I am your DM, Stefan Tomczewski, and uh, joining me, we have Sky, Bethany, and Tom. Hello. Hello there. Hi. No. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't all go at once. Uh, <laughs> That's what we were trying to avoid. <laughs> right. Um, so people watching might notice we're starting a little earlier. Uh, and we're also going to be finishing a little earlier today as well, as uh, Tom has only very, 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 very recently been notified that he's working today. As he <laughs> Uh, three hours ago, I learned that I was working today. Uh, it's not, yeah. not, not the best. No, not not the best. No. But we'll we'll make it work. So we'll we'll only we'll be over two hours today, but that that should be plenty of time. Yeah. A nice uh, short stream for. Um, so, anything else anyone wanted to, wanted to say before we get started? Um, I want to wish, I want to congratulate everyone who uh, either got their results today or would be getting them tomorrow um, for doing well at university this year. It, it has been a harder year, so, and you deserve all the congratulations and praises you can get. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah, it's 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 been rough goings, but you know, for the, the, the people that made it through, hey, well done, hey. You should all get cake, and <laughs> and like a comic cake, in which case, something adjacent. I mean, my sister is um, baking a cake today so nice hmm. nice uh, well um let's get on shall we uh, are we all ready yep. as as I'm going to be <laughs> all right so previously the party had traveled to Isilcross a series of snowy islands littered with ancient ruins in hopes of finding a cure for frigid woe, a cold disease affecting the Uthodonian outpost of Palebank Village. Having discovered the ancient ruins of Sal's Vault, the party headed inside, wherein they hoped to find a cure. Within the frozen laboratory, they found walking suits of armor, well-preserved walking corpses, and some giant crabs. Giant After giving <laughs> After dealing with the crab catastrophe, Leroy spotted a chest embedded into the floor. Then proceeding to lift both the chest and a section of the floor up and over to the party. Within the chest they found several vials of the frigid well antidote. And partaking of a little for themselves, feeling a strengthened resolve, we now resume their exploration. So, I think that when we um, left off, um, River wanted to try the door which um, she was told not to last session. Uh, okay. So, uh, if I move you guys over, go. Yeah. So, uh, can you go? Yeah. So, uh, this one? Yeah. Okay, so you walk out into the, uh, from the sort of cold, uh, flooded room in, uh, over here. Uh, what is everyone else doing while, uh, River is headed over there? I will follow to make sure she doesn't die. Okay. Uh, Celeste, what's Celeste doing? Is this room massive? Does it need cleaned? There's a bunch of crab corpses around. 
So I'll, kick him, I'll kick him into the water. Just be like, boop, boop. Okay, so you, so you just gently shove them into into the water, and they just sort of float and bob on the top. It's a little morbid. <laughs> <laughs> My captain, look at that! I made art. Well, he looks at this. It's very impressive. Very, very impressive. Thank you. Hey, uh, while you're doing that, uh, River, you, uh, open the door, let me... So, you approach the room, mm -hmm. uh, and as before, a large red X is painted on the door, mm -hmm. uh, and you can still hear violent, uh, you can now hear, as you're close to the door, you can hear violent banging in the sense of objects being thrown around, sort of, uh, echo against the door. From the inside. River's going to um, try and be as stealthy as possible, opening the door to not alert whatever's inside that she's there. Okay. The door is locked. The door is. Oh, God damn it! Mm. Uh, well, this is a no go. Um, do you want to Maybe try it? Locked for a reason. Maybe the red X is a sign. Well... Should we just try and bash the door down anyway? Um... Well, what did we came here for? You guys were on a mission. Was we... it just to collect the... the cure? It was to collect as much of the cure as we can. Well, we have the cure, we could just leave. Who says that was the only place where the cure was? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. Right, so uh, what are you doing? Is it just, is it a stone door, a wooden door? What type of door is it? Uh, the wall, um, check. Da, 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 da. It's made of a heavy sort of black stone. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Probably not going to be able to break it. You you could try. It seems like it would be difficult though. Extremely difficult. We'll see. I I will give it an attack, and then. I will, using my anchor, try and smash the door. So it's going to stand out of the way in case the door does get um, obliterated. Okay. Um, make me a strength check. Check. Mm -hmm. 70. So you take the anchor and you against the door and it there is you, you crack the door a bit and the, it does shift slightly but not enough to to open it hmm. well i could definitely get through but it would take me a while and we definitely alerted what was in there that we're here now yeah uh maybe come back later with a key or failing that we just come back later when we're more prepared to fight whatever's inside. That is fair. That is fair. Maybe all maybe maybe the weird druid speaking guy has the key. Hmm. Do you think we should go back into that laboratory? Well, I'm not the most smartest person, but it would make sense that laboratories would have stuff in them like cures. Sounds like a plan then. Okay, so, um, where are you going? 
pop my head back into this room and be like, Celeste, are you coming with, Captain? Where are you going? We're going to see if we can talk with the person in the laboratory room. Maybe he... Happy. Maybe he'll talk to a little little girl. <laughs> She'll just saunter in and be like, Hello, Mr. Madman! <laughs> oh, God. And as, as, as the captain sort of walks up, she goes, Oh, if you could kill him. You know. Kill as a last resort. Okay, so... Celeste. As you walk into the room, before you get further in, so, uh, you can see the six long stone tables, set with sort of steel and glass and lab equipment. The walls are lined with shelves that look like, have all manner sort of strange tools and such. And you can see the white-skinned, red-eyed humanoid, armed, uh, and moving from table to table, adjusting bottles and mixtures carefully. And as you walk in, he turns, and again, none of you speak draconic, so... He's just he's speaking in this very guttural language at you. Mm-hmm. 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 River is going to um, look at the um at the creature, I guess. I can't remember what it is. Uh make a Religion check. Anyone who wants to, make a religion check. Religion. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're dumb. We're dumb. <laughs> None of you know what this is. It looks like a it looks like a man. You think? <laughs> I mean so... Riv River is like what the heck? That's some funky skin condition you got there. Sorry, friend, but we do not understand you. Do you uh, speak any other languages? Say, you probably don't understand me right now. Um, as, uh, he's, he, he looks at you and he, he speaks this language and then he sees Captain over uh, Celeste's shoulder and then begins to speak this really... It's strange. It's like someone speaking yieldy English to you. It's a very archaic form of Elven. Okay. Uh, and was Doth this language enable us to communicate? Now I've got to get that voice right. Uh, does that, doth this language enable us to communicate? River replies with a confused. River. <laughs> River uh, replies with a yes. Yeah, I can understand you now. He so he takes a minute. Oh, uh, what be thine intentions within my facility? Can you not see I am in the middle of important work? What's he saying? He wants to know what our intentions are. Bad. <laughs> um... We are trying to get a cure to Frigid Woe uh, for a village that we have recently uh, been tasked to help. We were wondering if you could assist us in any way. Mm. He, he, he takes a moment. You think he's taking a moment to try and translate what you're saying mm. into sort of a way he understands it. And he goes, uh, A cure you seek for frigid world. <sighs> and he looks around. Why would you be seeking such a thing? Because someone who explored the ruins accidentally brought it to the village. <laughs> if that be the case.
nice. Let them fend for themselves. I don't like that laugh. Is he saying something bad? Sorry? So you're saying that because of one person's misguidance, the entire village should have to suffer? That depends, thine feline creature. For what purpose does this village exist? Man, if only I knew someone that could cast tongues. Um, River <laughs> River asks um, Captain to better describe the what the village says, given that River doesn't really know that much about um, the village. Um, quick question. Uh, do River and Celeste wear their holy symbols openly or not? Uh, River has two holy symbols. One is on her shield, which is currently on her back, mm -hmm. and the other is um, tucked away in, I want to say it's um, around her neck, but it's also currently not visible unless she needs to use it. Okay, and what about Celeste? Yeah, she's the same. She's got a necklace, but she kind of wears it under the dress. Okay. Uh, Evie he, he then sort of also chimes up and goes, And who do you serve? Not one of those blasted gods, I hope. Define blasted oh. gods. The ones that roam around pretend, pretending that they own and enslave us. But now that we have made advances to such magics and technologies, they seek to destroy us. At this point, River um, pulls her shield off of her back so that um, the creature can see her holy symbol of Pelor. Okay. Leroy will instinctively get his anchor out and run into fight. Yeah. <laughs> They're just having a conversation they don't understand, and now it looks like River's getting ready to fight. No, no, it's fine. I'm showing yeah. him my holy symbol. He's yeah. their concern. So, who looks at it? He's going to make a religion check because it looks like a holy symbol that he might know. He might know. God. He might know it. Oh, yeah, no, he recognizes it. <laughs> um. And he looks at you and he goes, Thine serve the Dawn Father. <sighs> um, I, I will not share mine own cure to a beautiful creation designed to sunder such gods with a servant of such. So you're saying that you will not share a cure that will alleviate suffering to someone who serves a god who doesn't want suffering? Um, anyone who speaks Alvin, make another religion check. When he said, uh, roaming the earth, gods roaming the earth, okay? Um, so you both would know, uh, Celeste and River, before the, the Calamity, before the Divine Gate was put up around this material plane, the gods themselves used to walk on, on the Earth. It's not, it's before any current recorded histories, and only few things have survived from that age of history, the, the age of Arcanum and before. You think this guy might be from those times? Um, but in, 
response to your question, he says, ah, they deserve what they get. Now leave me be. River will um, turn to Captain and Leroy um, with a look of um, your choice, but should we leave or do you want to murder us? Well, if he's not being hostile, we can just leave. Actually, River, make a persuasion check. Persuasion. Uh, persuading an 18. Uh, with disadvantage, actually, because you showed him your holy symbol. Okay, I'll just roll it again. Yeah. 18 still. <laughs> Alright then. So he turns and then thinks about it for a moment and goes, Fine. Then find a cure in the other room. Cross the hall through frigid waters. Thank you very much. Um, do you happen to have a key as well? Make another persuasion check at disadvantage. 15 this time. Okay. Why would you need a key of mine? Because it sounds like something in one of the other rooms is angry. Then you're best to leave it alone. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Uh, River then turns to the others and says, Alright, let's go. <laughs> um, as uh, as River leaves, would anyone else like to do anything else in this room? What, 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 what's going on? Did I see him tip the key? Did we get a key? No key. Okay. I'll just slowly back out the room with everyone out. So um, we don't always have to murder everything. No. Um, well, they gave us no real information either. Like... Did they not mention anywhere else that could be the no. kid? No, they did not. Although, given their intentions, I doubt they would tell us anyway. Fair enough. Yeah, you see, he sort of turns and goes back to um, filling with more vials and, and... At Celeste, as you turn and leave, you can see he's catty carries over from one bit of equipment to the next vials of blue powder <clears throat> so what are you doing? oh my god, we all left the room Celeste is alone <laughs> could I speak Alvin so could I have understood him? yeah yeah uh, I wasn't paying attention. Um, <laughs> can I just imagine that Celeste was just playing with the table? Like, with the stuff on the table? Yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of, like, really advanced lab, like, magical and scientific equipment you really don't understand. And you do end up, like, maybe breaking off a little bit of one bit and t t trying to put it back on, and it doesn't go back on, you just, just put it down gently and hope no one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk out the room. I'm gonna find River. I'm gonna tuck in her dress. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. 
He was doing the blue vials. I think he's making the disease. Hmm. Are I... we going to let him carry on or should we stabby stabby? I, sh I don't know, honestly. Like, he's not really hurting us and. I don't know. It, it, I, 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 I lean over and be like, "What's going on?" I think he's making the disease. Making the disease. Making the disease. That is what I said. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the blue vial. Yeah, the um, frigid woe disease is transferred, um, to someone through blue powder. Hmm. And this Maybe. is that same powder? It looks like it. Well... Surely we have to deal with this. The more frigid woe there is in the world, the more people could succumb. Maybe I'll ask him. I'm gonna go in again and be like, hi again! <laughs> what you doing? Important scientific research. Ooh, fancy. What scientific research you doing? No one can resist Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> um, he looks over uh, and, he, and he says, Work for which to destroy the gods. Not that you would comprehend such things. Very true. I'm very small. Do you need any help? Make a persuasion. No, make either a persuasion or deception check. Oh, he does not need help. <laughs> well, not about you. You never know. Uh, you say that and he goes, bah, you would not uh, grasp the, the intricacies of such alchemical and arcane devices. Go run along. But what you making? Just tell me what you making. A disease is what you would call it. Is it frigid what? He looks at you. As... Yes. How does but... one know of, of it? But why? I had it. It was terrible, man. I almost caught a dragon egg, but I couldn't because my bones were stiff. Hmm. And he sort of he, he pulls out like a piece of parchment and begins noting something down. Hmm. What, what are you doing? Are you researching me without my consent? <laughs> <laughs> why would I need my consent? And he starts writing. Because consent is very important. <laughs> no means no. He doesn't care, he's written it down now. <gasps> but why are you making it? A weapon against the gods. Celeste, what's happening? What's happening, Celeste? River's Do you going... ask me that? <laughs> River's going to walk in because she's getting concerned about how long um, Celeste has been in there. Oh, hi guys. So why do you want to destroy the gods? Wait, destroy the gods? Destroy the gods? Why do you want to destroy the gods? They... They are the ones that did this to me. What you see here, my form. I no longer have a concept of time. They destroyed my city, and they shall pay for such transgressions. I think there's nothing wrong with the way you look, and we all need a bit more of time in life. Everyone's complaining. Ah, oh, there's not enough time in the world. 
You <laughs> may not know this, but the gods can't really enter this plane anymore. You, a uh, servant of the gods, would say such a thing. Merely to get me to, to lower my guard. What you... makes you... Mr. Labman, what makes you so sure that this disease is going to harm God? As you have no doubt noticed, the divine magics and healing magics of such beings do not affect the disease. Which would explain why the only cure is the vials you alluded to. Yes. Did you make the cure as well? Of course. Test subjects that we need alive. <gasps> Needed to be cured as such. But if you're doing this all as an act of revenge, are you sure that's going to make you happy when you finally get it? <laughs> it does not matter to me now. Then why do it? It's all I have left, child. You would not understand. Have you maybe but considered me... having a drink? And River will pull out a bottle of ale and um, offer it up to the lab assistant, the lab person. Uh, he looks at it and he goes, Pah! No need of such paltry things. Now quit bothering me, or thine skin shall end up as rugs. I think I'd be a very fancy rug. But what you're doing isn't right. You're hurting more people than you're helping. Yeah, it's... What you're doing is not right, and... Unless you tell me more about this time when gods walked the earth... You wish to stop my work here? <laughs> Words will not do such. And he pulls out a sword. Yay! <laughs> now, would you, would you like to wish to fight this man, or would you want to run? R River wants some information, so River's staying. River oh. is not running. I did not understand anything that was being said, so I will follow the lead of whoever moves first. Uh, you, see, you see Captain so goes, uh, turns to Leroy and goes, Ah, he's, he's, he's going to fight us. Ah, okay. Anchor at the ready. <laughs> uh, are, are you going to act? Uh, are you going to engage this man? You know, um, we don't need to fight. <laughs> well, he's making a disease, and then he pulled his sword out. I don't think this man is very nice. You know what? I tried. Let's just put that in there. Flat's going to take out a crossbow, and she's like, oh, well, I tried. <laughs> yeah, you, you get the sense that he's very driven and probably has been driven mad. Yeah, hellbent. He's mm. hellbent and bloodthirsty. Unfortunately, Sorry. that's going to be initiative from everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That is a good initiative um, for Celeste. <laughs> We're going to get our asses kicked. I know it. I just know it. Ooh. River, River just has her shield um, up as well. She hasn't put it away since. <laughs> yes. Captain's initiative. <laughs> 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 
We are very fast today. Uh, we really are. I guess in that case, Celeste, it's your turn. What are you doing? I think it's cinnamon roll time. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna spend a bonus action to cast a uh, spiritual weapon? Yep. Alright, uh, give me just a second. Uh, where are you casting it to? Uh, in front of him. So, here? Yeah. Okay, uh, roll me a, a spell attack roll for, uh... Oh, it would help if I had stats up. Uh, that will hit. Okay, uh, the, uh, hey. so you, the cinnamon roll just appears out of nowhere and just slams this guy in, in the chest and he sort of lurches back and now looks very angry. I tried! Uh, that's your bonus action. Or would you like to do anything else as an action? Mm. Or move at all? I'll move behind Leroy. <laughs> Meet shield. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's fine with me. So, uh, move yourself behind Leroy. Yeah, and I'll awesome. be like, go get him! <laughs> uh, Captain on her turn uh, will enter the room next to Leroy and go, Eh, ah, well. And... Firebolt. With a 24. Nice hmm. Uh, for... <laughs> my damage! Also nice. Damn. Uh, as the firebolt just sort of blasts in his face, you see some of the skin sort of start to peel back and some the... Uh, she's not happy. And she just ducks behind Celeste and turns to Leroy and goes, Go get him! <laughs> <laughs> me, chill, me, chill. Uh, River, you're up. River's going to step forward a few, um, a few feet. Mm -hmm. And is going to channel divinity. Radiance of the Dawn. Uh, okay. You took a short rest. Alright, so, uh, click that for me. Uh, Radiance of the Dawn. Uh, it's an eight, so that's... Okay, so you, you, you detonate this radiant light and he puts up his arms. Uh, but you can see his arms are so cindered now. Uh, and he, and he, and he... Spits in your direction. Ew. Vera's just going to step um, to one. Um, go back 15 feet. Uh, but I'm going to be out of the way here. So, like 5, 10. Okay. And then passes the turn to Leroy. Okay, Leroy. <laughs> Leroy shall. Um. I. I will walk uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 today up to him. Quickly check something. I would like to throw my plus one net at him. <laughs> okay, what's the range on a net? It's uh, 515, so it would be a disadvantage because it's beyond the normal range. Okay, roll, roll a net attack with disadvantage. Um. Uh, 
disadvantage. <laughs> that was still hit. Okay, it does no damage, but he is now restrained. <laughs> okay. Well um... done. So it will. Um... Okay. So as you throw this net, it sort of coats it, and and it, it sort of covers it, and he's like. Oh and tries to get off him. Oh, would you like to do anything else on your turn? Um, Nah, I'm alright for now. Okay, uh... On his turn... My last rage now, or for if we fight the big thing, let's make it up the line. He's going to use one long sword attack to attack the net. I believe the net has an AC and hit points. It does. Um, dealing five slashing damage to the net, frees the creature, and destroys the net. Okay. When you use an action, bonus action, or reaction to attack, or with a net, never mind. You can only make one attack regardless. Okay. Well, this is... It's even... It's fine. It does have disadvantage, but it's also a magical net, so would you be able to break it? That, that's up to you. <laughs> I'm not saying no, but he's going to try and get out of it with his action. Cool. Uh, so what's the strength check to get out of it? Uh, ten. Yeah. It's a fourteen. He does free himself from the net. He just sort of grabs it and throws it out from him. And then he's going to move. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, up to here. Did he go like around me, or do I get an attack opportunity? He sort of went that way. So you technically would. Cool. I will punch him because I don't have my anchor out. Okay. Punch. Seven. Nope, you end up punching the table. <laughs> uh, as he runs past, uh, and because he uses action to get out, that's all he can do. Uh, top of the round, Celeste. Quick side note, I've been told that there's like an echo of music. An echo of music? Yeah. Uh, I turn... I turn the music down. Is that better? I'll let you know in a few minutes. If I do that, because I think it's coming from me, because I don't have headphones in currently. Uh, that'd be fine. We will have to wait and see what the audience. Yeah, well, that should be fine. Let me just turn that down. Okay, um, Celeste, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. Can I spiritual weapon again? As your bonus action, you absolutely may. Because it's out, you don't need to cast it again, It just you can just use your bonus action to, to hit with it. So, go ahead. Yeah. That's the damage. Make an attack roll. Oh. <laughs> doesn't it need to, like, move and hit him? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't need to move. Sorry. Uh, it can get there. No, well, actually, 10, 15, 20. If it's a spiritual thing, sure, it can just float through stuff. It could probably float over the tables. Mm. Yeah. It could get to there. Or you could go... Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. You could go there and then there. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we'll just... Yeah. Uh, that unfortunately will miss as it flies over, it just into the wall. 
<laughs> as the white sort of just ducks underneath. Um, you have an action and some movement, if you want to use that. Do you want to cast a spell or attack or anything? Uh, can I hit him on my crossbow? You'd have to move into the room, but yeah, you could. I'll move to there, behind the river. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, in the then. field. Thank you, River. Uh, because he's behind the table, and from where you are, he will get half cover. Um, but go ahead and, and, and roll to hit. Normal roll, not disadvantage. Normal roll. Yeah. Uh. No, that well, that will miss. Uh, you've got a fire, and it just sort of clips some of the equipment, and and ends up sort of changing the trajectory and just goes ends up going wide. Oops. Uh, is that all you're doing? Yep. Okay. Well, my turn. Captain, move. Twenty-five thirty. Here. What's the range on this? Damn, okay. Uh, shall I just cast Firebolt again? That will also miss. As it flies into the wall behind and sort of clips off of. Some of, some of the leatherish armor that this this thing is wearing. Uh, and you go, oh, shit. Uh, River. Told her that. Uh, okay, let me just check something. Uh, sure. Wisdom save, is it? Yep. Okay. And because he's damaged, max damage. Okay, so you toll this bell, um, but the necrotic energies don't seem to do as much as you thought they would. Uh. It just spits at you and goes, That foul energy does nothing to me anymore. Heck. So that was your action? You really you like are him? one serious son of a gun, aren't you? Tilt his head at that, like... What? <laughs> River, um... We'll just try and look um, intimidating and ends the turn there. Okay. Uh, Leroy. Uh... You can't be in the same space with the spiritual weapon. I mean, I can like go into the space, then come back out of the space, can I? Uh, yeah, maybe you want your arrow on that. Yeah, cool. Alright. So I will walk up to it with my hefty anchor and do a smashy smash. Okay. Because it seems like everyone needs the help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we make, make an attack roll with advantage. <laughs> it doesn't need the advantage. Jesus! All right, that hits. Well, Thirteen bludgeoning damage. Okay, you hit him, and the impact hits. He doesn't seem to react to it as much as you thought he would. Ah! How dare you, you undead swine! Hey, uh... And then I will... Well, I'll have to back away because I can't be in the same space for the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, on his turn, uh, he's going to make two attacks against... Me? Is he? Sorry? Opportunity. Well, he does. He will take a opportunity attack against you. Yeah. Uh, with 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, 20 hits. Uh, that is four slashing damage. Four. Nice. Um, 
he will turn to river mm -hmm. and he will uh, outstretch his hand and you can see black energy sort of ripple around it as he goes to strike you. Warning, Claire. Uh, 14. 14 does not hit. Okay. So as you flash this light, it goes... And then he's going to hit you with his longsword. Sure, go for it. 11. Um, 11 does not hit. Okay. It just bashes against your shield. Ding. And he's going to move directly in front of you. Because he's not happy with you. <laughs> of course not. I'm, I worship the law. Hmm. Uh, top of the round, Celeste. Cinnamon roll squash! Okay, uh, move over, make him tackle with, uh, unfortunately, uh, it, uh, he sort of puts a hand out and just pushes it to one side as it goes to strike him. Hey! That was meant to hurt you! <laughs> that was your bonus action. Can I crossbow? Sure. River will duck and d duck down as you shoot so that you don't accidentally shoot her. Well, it, it misses anyway, so... These are bad rolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, the arrow goes wide, unfortunately. Uh, would you like to move it all? Out of the room. <laughs> I'm going to have a talk with myself. Like, Come on, Celeste. We can do this. It's okay. It's okay you missed the first couple of shots. The next shots will be better, okay? <laughs> As, as you as you take time out of your day to practice self care, uh, <laughs> it is Captain's turn. Um, and she will. Oh, what can she do? Ah, uh, she's gonna throw out another firebolt, which hits. Uh, it, the fireball launches and strikes into this thing's arm, and you see the flesh sort of burning away. But he's not dead yet. Hmm. Unfortunate. And she's going to move 5, 10, 15 back here. Out of the way. Uh, River. So, Told the Dead did nothing. I can't um, channel Divinity. I kind of want to save that spell slot that I've got left as a worst case scenario heal spell. The only option I have is to use my claws. And right. completely miss. So you've got a claw and he literally grabs your hand. <laughs> Let. <laughs> um, would what? you like to do anything else? Uh, I can't do anything else. I'm okay. Just, I'm just going to end my turn there. Alright. Uh, Leroy. Cool. I'll do the same thing as last time. Just pop into the cinnamon roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, pop in. Attack recklessly. <laughs> 21. That hits. Uh, 7 bludgeoning damage. You lift the anchor up and you crush his head into his chest. Oh. As he slumps over. Now the question is, what do we do about all these bottles of frigid wood? Uh, that comes later. First, we find the key. River's going to um, search the body for what um, he had on on him. Uh, so what he has on him, I believe, uh, you do find a set of keys. Okay. Uh, 
and you also find uh, his longsword, his sort of tattered longsword, a longbow uh, as well. And make a make a, a survival check just to see what else he had. Uh, you also find. Three sort of little wisps of uh, shadowy uh, substance, and you can also, if you want to, take both of his hands. Uh, River will take the set of keys and both of his hands. Okay. Yeah, because you saw that both of his hands had like necrotic energy around them, so you can you can take them if you want. Yeah. So I okay. have a set of keys, and uh, I have two, two necrotic hands. Two white hands and a uh, three sort of wisps of sh shadowy substance. Uh, and three uh, uh, wisps of shadowy substance. Okay. Yeah, so while River is doing that, what is everyone else doing? Uh, I go over to Celeste and I'd be like, would it be a good idea to maybe put all of these bottles in that stone chest and just leave it somewhere not findable? Did you take the curious out of the stone chest? Yes. We weren't going to take the chest. Okay, yeah, you could do that. I couldn't carry that stone chest for a big journey. Yeah, but you have to make sure you don't touch the vials. So wrap your hands in something and put them in the chest. Is it you could just you could just leave all the vials in here and let me burn them up. Did that destroy it last time? Yes. It's a um, spores-like substance. It will easily be destroyed by fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, do that then. Burn the place to the ground! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair. Uh, we would, should uh, do that. I will destroy them when we leave. Why not just do it now? Should In we case... wait till we go in the other room? We should wait until we've all left because then I can put it at the entrance and safely destroy it that way. But these are pretty hefty stone doors. Couldn't you just chuck some fire in here and close the door? I can try. But yeah, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm not a... Or Captain could burn it. Do you I... want to burn it, Captain? It would take me a while, but I, I could. It's not that hard to burn it. Um... She, she looks at you and goes, but I don't have flamethrowers in my hands, no, do I? <laughs> no, but you do have fireballs. Yes, little... <laughs> the fire, that's... that's... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think if we take what um, else we need from this room first and then leave it, we can always mark it as where we burnt the fidget woe up. Yeah. Right. I guess... Right, so, uh, yeah? I guess we all loot the room. Right, so, uh... So as, as really you're, you're looting the, the body, everyone else sort of goes around, you find on the shelves, a lot of them hold, like, uh, especially like Celeste and Captain would note, a lot of these could be are like spell components, uh, reagents and lab supplies. A lot of them are really out of date though. Uh, however, if you wanted to, uh, you spend a few minutes searching the shelves and collect enough workable tools and reagents, you could make an alchemist's uh, supplies set if you wanted to. I'll do that. Um, so, uh, I, I can 
add alchemist supplies to your character sheet if you want me to. Yes, please. Okay, uh... Just don't do any human transmutation. <sighs> it costs an arm and a leg! <laughs> <laughs> and, and the body of my brother. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Um, I had to, I'm sorry. Uh, you also find um, each table holds a working set of um, alchemist supplies that uh, you know was probably being used to make frigid woe. Uh, and you notice that on each table is a fair few vials of the stuff. Does that mean I know how to make frigid woe? No, you don't know how to make it. You, you you probably have the stuff to make it, but you probably don't know how to. Is that all that's in here then? That's probably about it, yeah. Supplies and a lot of frigid woe. Cool. Well, yeah, we can we can head back later and do some birdie burning. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. To the next room. <laughs> okay. So with keys now in hand, River is going to go to the room that we tried to infiltrate before. Okay. You walk up to the room. You can still hear the banging from the other side, and you uh, you have a key. You unlock the door. And you see this. As you open the door, yep. uh, it's a debris filled room with a humanoid creature made of pieces of stitched together flesh. And it turns and charges towards you. You notice the monster's body is covered in wounds and like broken pieces of bone stick through flesh at all angles. Let's give me initiative again. Ooh. Time to do a lot of fighting. It's almost as if you're in a, <laughs> in, in, in a dungeon. Hmm. It looks like we're all um, a bit um, weary after our fighting against uh, the lab assistant, and so we're not that fast. Apparently. I just love how Celeste's still got her cinnamon roll with her. Oh yeah, I didn't leave. <laughs> but well, uh, what's the what's the duration on it? Forever. No. Forever um... and ever. One minute. I would have faded by now. But I like it so much. It's it's been a few minutes. Sorry. I like it. That's the rules of spells, unfortunately, and unfortunately. It's the creature's turn. Is um, Captain not even involved in the fight? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're playing people that aren't here is very difficult. <laughs> Yay! Never mind. The oh. other captain. The other. <laughs> All right, the, the captain will go. The fight is going on. Is there one, two, three? Yeah. Well, uh, five bit. <laughs> that will, I believe, miss. Uh, that's just sort of sails overhead. Um, I should go. That ah, I tried. I just moved back. Uh, on the creature's turn, 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, I need to roll a, a few dice here. Uh oh. Okay. 
So you can see it has gone berserk. Ooh. Uh, and will slam twice. Okay. Uh, so first attack's a 15. 15, um, River will, it will hit her um, armor, but she takes nothing because it's below my AC. Okay. So it bangs into your shield. Second attack is a 23. A 23 breaks through the shield. Okay, so that's 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch! As it bangs in your shield and then comes back around with the other fist, like, wildly, and just clocks you in the side of the head. Oof. Okay, uh, and that's the golem's turn. Uh, River. Well, I guess killing this thing is going to be a greater need than saving some healing. Burning hands. Right. Okay. Uh... Natural one. <laughs> it blows up in flames. Oh. And just starts burning to the ground. Well. Wow. See that? Five hit points. <laughs> it didn't even matter if it succeeded in the um, deck save. No, I had a minus one dex too, so. Oof. Well, it means I can't do that anymore until we sleep. But that's that dealt with. Yeah. Uh, I'll look into the room. Is it just an empty room? What's what's in here? Uh, so you look in. Um, everything in here is destroyed. Like everything in here is just rubble and debris and broken bits of debris and dust and bits of bone and clay and iron and stone. So but it needs cleaning. Is what you're saying. Celeste, no, you are not cleaning up this room. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> the, cap the captain kneels down to you, puts a hand on your shoulder, and goes, Not everything is meant to be cleaned. I disagree, but okay. Is there no other exits in this room? In this room, nope, it's just. It's just that. Onwards, then, guys? Yes, if I remember correctly, there was another locked door near the entrance. There was, yes. Uh, shall we then? Um, before we um, actually go to the locked door, River's going to go back in uh, into this room here, pick up the sword mm -hmm. that um, she had recently um, attempted to restrain, um, bring it with her and just bury it, uh, just stab it into the ground outside okay uh you go do that okay so this sword here will end up here okay awesome awesome okay uh so you all approach the the, the other door uh cat is with you uh you open up the door mm-hmm and I'm going to stealth um, inside. Okay, so as you open the door... Woof woofs! Woofs! Okay, so, uh... Sorry. Sorry. So, uh, inside this room... Uh, you see smashed stone tables lit on the floor. Two stone chests built into the floor stand next to uh, each other on the far wall. And a door to the west is inscribed with words in a scratchy, draconic language. 
and a large iron lever is flipped into the up position next to the uh, on the wall next to the door. Uh, is can I see any traps? Make a investigation check. As you search around. Okay. Um, so you search around, uh, and you search near the uh, the door here. Oh, uh, the door here and you sort of poke around um you see there's a there's uh archaic sort of draconic runes uh near the foot of the door mm -hmm. but of course you don't read draconic so you don't know what they say no apart from that uh it doesn't seem to be anything here that you can see um Let's. What's in the chests? Let's see what's in the chests then. Uh, who's going to, to the chest? Uh, Leroy? Yeah. Okay. These chests are. Oh, what? Bethany, you, you good? Yeah, I disconnected, sorry. No, that's okay. That's what right. happened? Um. There's a there's a, some draconic runes near the floor by here, and they're about to go check on some of the chests in the other room. Oh, okay. Uh, look into the room. See it needs cleaned. And slowly close the door again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you just close the door and try not to try not let it bother you too much. Yep. Um, a happy dungeon is a clean dungeon, right? Yes. Hmm. So, Leroy, you uh, you got to open. Do you got to open one of the chests? Uh. Okay, so you got to open the chest and it's locked. But as you try to f force the chest open, um. No, nothing nothing really happens unless you want to try and really force it. I'll try and force it. Don't force it. Forcing it. Don't. I have okay. a key. I have a set of Forcing keys. It. Forcing okay. it. Okay. So you try and force it open and it doesn't budge. And then on the lock itself where you can see, there's a tiny little like bead of like light blue energy. And it fires in your face. Oh. Uh, I just need oh. to... I told you not to try and force it. We have keys. Might not be the right key. And there's only a six doesn't hit. No, a six doesn't hit. Okay, so this beam just sort of... You manage to duck out the way this beam flies over your face. Nice. Vivian's going to try and use the keys on her keychain to open up one of the locks on the chest. Uh... I'll turn around and be like, hey Celeste, there's pretty lights in here. Pretty light. She'll yeah, put your head through. Cool. Uh, yes, you, you use the key and you open them both up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll like stand to the side of the chest and then tell Celeste to stand not in the line of the chest and then try and force the chest open again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, so you try and force the chest out. Oh, Celeste, where, 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 where are you in the room? Uh, I, I would be there, standing at the okay. side, trying to like... And Celeste, where would you be in the room? I would tell her to stand next to Captain. I'll, I'll go do that then, and just like, okay. hide my face in Captain. <laughs> so, so you try and force the chest open. Uh-huh. I'm assuming a 12 doesn't hit. No. No, it just it, it flies in your direction, but manages to miss you. Oh, okay. River is going to try and open the chest now. Okay, so you open this chest. See, um, 
Pretty. It is filled with, packed with fine sand. Um, within which nestle two vials of frigid will. More, uh, the river will carefully close that one and go, there's more frigid row in this one. And it goes to the other chest and unlocks the um, lock on it. Okay, same thing. Same thing inside. Same thing. Clo again, closes the um, chest carefully. Captain, we have more frigid woe to burn when we leave. <sighs> Fine. Just sighs and just... Uh, because the um, northern door here has the runes, and I don't want to accidentally trigger them, why don't we try the south door first? It, it, it didn't look like runes, it looked like writing. You. Yeah, it, it's writing. I don't know what it says. I don't want to anger anything. If only we had Fardin to be able to translate. Yeah. Oh God. If only. If yeah, only. Cool. Uh, is this a lever? On this yeah, that's a, that's a lever. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna pull the lever. Oh no! What <laughs> way? Okay. Pull the lever, Crump. Yes, yeah, so you pull the lever down, and you you hear from inside the this this room. Like from the other side, you can hear a hiss, uh, like a, and you can see a dull orange glow around the door. Cool. Pretty light. <laughs> it is pretty light. Orange glow around the door. Mm. I want to say that's um, a flame sower. As in, it's like orange light. Yeah. I'll I'll put the lever back up. So you flip out, and it's a f the, the the sound stops. Glow goes away. Nice. Well, we I'll, found. I'll look, a... I'll look over a river and be like, "So we're up or down? Which way are we going?" I say down Look, first. Down first? Down first. Okay. Wait, what do you mean down? We aren't looking at this from a top-down view. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so you go south. South. Then. No, actually, no, it's east, actually. It's east. Oh. Is north not there's a, a compass, there's a compass in the corner. There's a compass in the corner, it's east. Oh, it's east. Alright, uh, we head east. And okay, so River will attempt to open the door. Okay, so you open the door. It's not locked. And you see... So I reveal it all to you. It's not beans! Uh, what's in your head? In your head, so I'm gonna get flagged if you keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna get flagged if you keep saying that. <laughs> Yikes. Fun fact that song was written about the troubles in Northern Ireland early on. Oh, wow! Wow, I did not know that. It's the cranberries are an Irish band, aren't they? Hmm. Hmm. Um, so as you open the door. You see a, a long hallway mm -hmm. nice. with many doors and three human zombies. Cool. I'm assuming you're not being stealthy. River is going to be stealthy. We, we didn't state that we were being stealthy. No, we did not state. Yeah. Oh I'm dear. Loud balls. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just opened the door, so that's going to be initiative as the zombies turn on you and 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 see. Oh, fresh meat. I don't have enough spells for the. Come on. <laughs> Man, it's also the big so this was meant to be really hard. <laughs> How do I accidentally click stuff? I mean, uh, Okay, 
Okay, oh, and I need to do captain as well. Yep. And Not bad, Captain, not bad. Okay. The last. I'm tired. I'm not allowed to clean. <laughs> I have no spells. <laughs> okay. River, as you open the door and you see this, this zombie turn and look at you and go to, go to move towards you, what do you do? I'm going to stealth. Is your action to hide? Sure. Make a stealth check. 20. Okay, so you so you, so you duck behind up this corner and, and hide. And zombie doesn't know where you've gone. But it seems Leroy, right, because you left the door open. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, that was your action. So the zombies now do not know that I'm here. Exactly, yeah. Um, well, I'm just going to stay hiding and pass the turn. Okay, uh, you will probably hide around this corner here then. Yeah. Let's keep out of sight. Hey, uh, Leroy. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? I will attack it with my anchor. Normally. Okay. This is where I miss. <laughs> Firm bull chance! Firm bull chance! Do you know what the really funny thing is? You only miss by two. <laughs> <laughs> But it's still on that one, so you need to roll maybe 20. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's an 18. Oh, it's not showing up for me. I roll physical dice, sorry. Oh, physical dice, okay. Um, 18. As you run up, um, the zombie turns to you, and you, you... It's a jarring sight. I need you to make... Either an intimidation check, you can either use your strength or charisma. Mm. And these, this guy's going to do the same. Uh, if, I was, if I was using my strength, would it be my athletic? If you're proficient in intimidation, then it should be the same number. No, but if I was using my strength to... If you were using your strength, it'd be intimidation, because some people can use... Just make an intimidation check, don't worry about it then. 20. Cool. Oh, well, this one rolled a natural 20. Mm. But the total was 17. Nice. Uh, you don't lose your nerve, but you don't hit either. You just sort of, you go to, you go to strike, and it turns and looks at you, and you just sort of stop a second, you're like, oh, that's a nerve. Yeah, but... Um, anything else you'd like to do? Um, no, I'm fine. Okay. On the captain's turn, she'll go, oh, what's going on in here? 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and she'll see that and she'll go, ah, oh, it's this again. Oh, well. Uh, and she will cast Firebolt on this one. Down the hallway. And that will hit. The whopping full fire damage. <laughs> uh, as the firebolt launches across, sort of. It's a tiny one, it just sort of. Uh, but it does hurt a little bit. Uh, and she will move five feet back. It'll be her turn. So, this one in front of you, Leroy, is going to slam you. Yeah. Uh, with a 13. 13 does not hit. Okay, so it goes to hit you, and you manage to step out of the way, just in time. Nice. This one will move 5, 10, 15, 20, and then dash 5, 10, 15, 20, and move there. I will be, I will be. Uh, then this one. 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll dash. 5, 10, 15, 20. And surround, surround you. Uh, Celeste. Um, I 
think I'll we'll move a little closer to here. Mm -hmm. And I want to hit the zombie closest to me. Uh, there is a wall here, you can't really... I have to go through the door. I can't, like, you have the to door go... open, no? The door is open. But you can't, you can't see this one because yeah. there's a wall in the way. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can even move that far, though, besides... Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, I'll go there. Okay. Yeah, 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 you can. You can, you can get there if you wanted. Ooh, I'll go here. Okay. And I'm a crossbow. Uh, which one? The one closest to me. Okay. Uh, this one. Go for it. That will yeah. hit. So you thunk straight in. And just, uh, it, it does some damage. And it just turns and looks at you. And it's going to go for you now. Instead oh, of Captain. Oh no. Is that all you'd like to do on this turn? Yeah. Okay. River. River is going to remain stealthy. Okay, and make uh, Okay. So. Go ahead, huh? Okay, so stealth check. Yeah, make another stealth check. 17. Okay. Uh, let's. Let's get a pass. So, 5, 10. If you come out, because if you come out of hiding, there they'll see you. Ah. They, they're going to see you, because that's directly in their line of sight. In that case, I can't do what I was going to do, which was just sneak around them. No, unfortunately, they're going to see you. Alright, um, alternative plan. This zombie right here. Oh, that's... Not, um, there. this will be right here. Mm hmm. Ring the bell. It's told that you've used your action oh, to hide. Okay. In that case, I guess I just have to stay. I'll just stay here and pass. Okay. Uh, uh, as you stay hidden, uh, Leroy. Leroy will smash. <laughs> the Which one? one that is above me. Okay, go for I'm it. I'm no longer paying attention to it. And I am the meat sponge. <laughs> 20. Well hit. That's a better hit. Good. Eight down. Nice. Uh, so you hit it and it slams against the wall. Um, still shambling, but not really sure what, what, who, 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 who to eat now. Doesn't know who to eat. Um, <laughs> it's these three TC um, creatures, and it's swore it's still a fourth, but they don't know where it is. No, it, uh, actually, no, no, it's a zombie. That in D and D they don't eat people. There's another creature that eats people. Uh, uh, <laughs> that would be a Google. Uh, so yeah, uh, anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Roy? Um, no, that's fine. That's all I'll do. Okay. Captain's turn. Uh, she's gonna firebolt this one. Because it, it works. Yeah. Boy, how do Does it goddamn work? <laughs> As she firebolts its chest out. Just... Just hollows out his chest and it just slumps to the floor. Which one was that? It was that one? Okay. Uh, it was the slowest zombie. It was the slowest one. Uh, and that'll be our turn. Uh, Leroy. Yep. The one closest to you. Does a 21 hit, I assume? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, three points of bludgeoning damage. Three? Nice. Yeah. And the other one will move five, ten, fifteen. Uh. Uh. Oh, it's going to attack Captain. Oh. 
Luckily, it rolled a five. So it goes to punch, and Captain just sort of ducks out of the way. It's a very slow, lumbering punch. Uh, and Celeste. So ten. I'm uh, Ross Boo, the one in front of Leroy. Okay. I tell him, duck! <gasps> Goose. Oh. That will hit. It hits. It hits. Ow. They're not very fast. Some beanies have garbo defensives. Hey. So you fire, and you think it's a really bad shot, and then the zombie just moves its its body in in the way of your crossbow just by accident, and oh, just that's <laughs> handy. <laughs> just sticks in its chest and just looks down and looks back up. Oh wow! Uh, uh, is that what you're doing? Yep. Hey, it's not the wrong river. Uh, river will pull out the um, white hands that um, she's picked up and will just point them at the um, zombie closest to her um, in an attempt to see if it will do anything. Okay, um, so you, you, just, you just point it towards? Yep. Nothing happens when you point it towards it. How do these things work? <sighs> River just stays where she is and ends her turn. Okay. Leroy. Leroy's mad. And I'm going to hit one that's next to uh, Captain. Okay, see you. I would dare them just walk past the tank. <laughs> 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 Um, 19. That will hit. 8 damage. Nice. Dunk. You crunch as you, as you smack into this thing. Uh, is that your turn? Um, that will be my turn, yeah. Okay. On Captain's turn, she's going to go, ah, oh, fuck this, and she's going to cast Bloodletting. Oh. Uh, so that's... And it just hits. <laughs> nice. Okay. God damn, she has this really good rolls with, with, with this spell. So she 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 put puts her hand like in her mouth, scratches her hand, and like some blood comes out, mm -hmm. puts it on the zombie and just tears this massive gash in the zombie's uh, body. Ew. Ouch. My eyes. And then... No, that's all she's going to do. Uh, actually, she's, she's, she's going to move there. Just to sort of... get some leverage. Uh, this zombie... The one that's actually paying attention to you, Leroy. Mm -hmm. That is going to slam you. For a nat one. Firm ball chance. Yay. Firm ball chance. That's a d10. Let's move the turn order out of the way. And d10. Okay, slash. Okay, so it, as it goes to punch you, it cracks its hand in your anchor. <laughs> and uh, deals itself some damage. Ooh. And that was a minus one to all of its... Uh, what was it? To all of its uh, damage rolls. <laughs> uh, okay. And that's its turn. Uh, the other one is going to it's gonna hit Captain again. Oh. Good. 
Oh, god damn, that'll hit. But that's two bludgeoning. As, it, as she moves past, she, it just sort of goes up and punches her in the chest. She goes, ah! Uh, wasn't a hard hit, but she's very frail. Uh, and that's, that's turn. Celeste. I'll go up to that zombie and I'll stab it with the dagger. Okay. Step, step, step. Oh. That will miss. You go stab it and it just sort of goes between ribs and just doesn't do anything. Oh well, I tried. Uh, anything else? Nope, I'm good. Alright, Rilla, what are you doing? Rilla's going to here with um, 10 feet of movement and she's going mm -hmm. to put the hands on the arm of the zombie. Okay, this is going to be an improvised melee attack, so just roll me a strength check. That will just hit. Uh, roll a d6 for me. Uh, you kill it as as you flail with this hand. It latches on, scratches down, and you can see this necrotic energy just burn through it as it just. Flops over. River's going to sort of step back in surprise, still holding onto these hands after it's killed a zombie and like. So that's how these things work. Huh. Pretty nice. neat. Hmm. And then ends the turn. Okay. Uh, Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> and Ash. Okay. Actually, wait, hang on. I forgot my rule. One second. What? Oh, 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 I know. I think I know what it is. Yeah, you, you, you know what it is. Yeah, wait. Okay, that one stays down. This one. Uh, actually, uh, it stays up. Excuse me one second, my phone's going off. That's fine. Does that also mean it gets attack of opportunity against me because I stepped back? Uh, hello. Um, hi, right. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, you're on stream right now. <laughs> uh, just put you on speaker. Yeah, no, I'm that's alright. I'm, I'm going into it. No, it's fine. No, say, say, totally no, it's fine. Say hi to all, like, three people watching. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> just having my lunch break in work, so I um, just thought I'd check on how everyone's doing. We're doing good. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> love it. I love it. Uh, okay. Right. I will see you guys later. Have a good session. Thank Bye. you. Thank Have you. a good day at work. Bye. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. <laughs> oh, bless. You gotta love it when you have an impromptu um, special guest. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Especially when it's you, my She's so well. She signed so well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she was born in, in um, Kilvanid, so she would be. <laughs> okay, yes, it does get an attack of opportunity on you, River. Um, assuming a 14 doesn't hit. 14 will not hit. Okay. Uh, okay, so meanwhile you did 10 damage, okay. But I, I did it to that one, because yeah. the other one was dead. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. It sort, of, it sort of gets up, but you can see these two are now sort of still... They're clinging on, they're broken, but they're clinging on. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine for me. Okay. Captain is... I'm not going to waste any more energy and just stab this one in front of her. Stab, stab. That will hit. Okay. Uh, save. Okay, now it goes down. 
as it as she just stabs it in the chest and it just sort of slumps to the floor and she goes really hates it, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not having a good day. <laughs> I don't think any of us are, Captain. Don't worry. <laughs> Cease to share my misery. Uh, so that one's down. Uh, this one's going to hit you, Leroy. The one in front of you, the one that's left. Nice. Tim. Tim doesn't hit. Okay. Celeste. Duck, Leroy! <laughs> hey, that'll hit. Okay. Uh, that would be... Okay. You shoot it in the forehead and it collapses. Just falls back. I got it! Well done. Thank you. Maybe we'll put the white hands away. Okay. Uh, I'll add those as attacks for you. Because um, they are they are considered improvised weapons. Mm. But you don't know what they do. Nice. Cool. Hey, um... Look, there's more doors. More doors. <laughs> um... I would like to make a suggestion then. I suggest that we set up a camp and we um, rest up. Yeah, sounds good. We can block this door. Yeah. Uh, and... Yeah, we could. And then tomorrow we can continue our investigation. Uh, I'd be fine with that. Yeah. Can we pick a different room though? One that doesn't need cleaned? I mean, we can always camp outside. But it'd be cold. Why don't we camp in the first room? Yeah. Yeah, the first room. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Um, we just sweep the, um, the tattered armor out of the way. Mm -hmm. River will also then make sure to lock um, all three doors. Okay. Uh, you do so with the keys. Um... So we're all in this room on our own um, with no way of anything coming in unless they completely obliterate the doors. Okay. Uh, as you do that, um, you lock up the doors, uh, make sure everyone's in, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, set up your camp, rudimentary as it may be for the night. We're going to end the session there. Nice. So we get a so, long rest, we get half our hit dice back, we get all our health back and all of our that's all, Yeah, all, all, all that. All that. Yeah, so you can take a long rest now. Um, I will have you do watches, but I'll do that next week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Nice. Uh, okay, uh, did we have fun today? Yeah. Yeah. A bit more of a dungeon and slog than usual, but yeah, it was fun. That's just, that's just what this bit is, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, oh, well. Uh, Yep. It's all through. I still haven't gone below half health. I was on eight health um, when we end before we took that long rest. Nice. That that golem that that, that golem <laughs> has like it had five health. It, that thing is usually like a CR five. <laughs> <laughs> and I just killed it in one shot. Yeah, well, I had five health. But like, Have usually it's got like 40. Oh right, okay. Damn. Yeah. I think, I think, I think one of these days there's gonna have to be a, a, there's a, there's a, there's a one shot I think we have to run for, for you guys at some point. Um, yeah. I, I ran it for Waterdeep. Um, Tom, you might have heard of the, uh, the time the, the Waterdeep group did the Ishtar facility. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, because you, you were there, you didn't play it, but I'm going to have to run it for you at some point because it's fucking hilarious. Uh, was that the one that we streamed, or is that a different one? It's a different one. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything because it's, it's just so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, um, you know, I'll, I'll have to run that at some point for, for some other people because I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a, that's that's where we're going to end for today. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed. I hope everyone enjoyed watching. It was good. Yeah. We, we need we need a name. Is the thing we need a name for this uh, session. Um. White hands. Oh, I was going to suggest white power. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that is that too close to the bone though? Is that too much? I think that is a bit too much. Okay. Like, I, I think that's yeah, that's not a that's not gonna be a good name. Yeah, okay, no, that's it. We'll be taken off. Yeah. Our channel will be banned, we'll be taken off. Uh it's spelled like the white as in W H I G H T and it Yeah, it's spelt spelt like that. I still don't I still don't yeah. feel comfortable with that name. I would. What, what, what about... Uh... It's, got, it's got to have a white in it somewhere. Because that's, that's, that's the big thing that happened. Hmm. White Club? Oh, no. It's getting worse. <laughs> it's wow. getting, it's getting worse. worse here. <laughs> you are getting worse. Like, I... <laughs> Why not Ancient Battles? White's downfall. I mean, white spelt W I G H T. With that, I'm, I'm still iffy about using white. I mean, white knight. No, okay. Um, like, yeah. I mean, just put whatever you fancy. Uh, are we are we getting any suggestions? Not from the chat. Okay. We could just call it F this. F this. Oh, you could no, you could call it. Uh, we really need a long rest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like that actually. We really need okay. a long rest. Okay, uh, I think I think that's that one's settled then. Yeah. Uh, in our case, we've got our, uh, our episode name, and we'll we'll end it there because Tom needs to get to work. Yeah, boy. Um, and I need I need lunch because I haven't I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> Stefan, go eat. I, I need I, to pee, but that's probably TMI. Don't do the same. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Cool. Right, we'll, uh, we'll let people go then. Uh, hope everyone enjoyed. Take care, everyone. Wash your hands. Bye. Yeah, wash your hands, you nasties. Goodbye. See ya.